It's every parent's worst nightmare, getting a phone call that your child has been in an accident. And one local mom and dad are taking their son's tragedy and turning it into an opportunity to teach others about organ donation. And joining us today, we have Sarah Fisher and her husband uh, here as well to talk a little bit about Arland. Welcome, both of you, to talk a little bit about um, what your mission is now. First off, thank you so much for coming in. I'm so sorry for your loss. This is something I don't like to talk about, and you probably are having a hard time talking about. How are, how are you doing? This is very fresh. Can you just tell us when did, when did the accident happen? The accident happened June 28th um, of the summer, and we are doing okay. We are learning to have a new normal, but for me, I find hope in the organ donation, knowing that Cameron's life lives on, and I've started a mission crisis for Cameron to help others who are grieving and going through the same journey so that I send out various different kinds of crosses along with his story and a card that says uh, random acts of kindness for Cameron. And this can be put on cars or anywhere. And basically it's just to help educate people because it is our job to educate and be the voice for those who are not here. Now Cameron, did give even after death because he was a, an organ donor. But I know in one of the breaks you kind of mentioned he was an organ donor and then one of the last times he got his license updated, he must not have updated that and he wasn't. So you're also reminding people to check that and make sure they are an organ donor because you never expect to have to deal with this. And, and not only uh, you know making sure that you validate it and that you are, but uh, even before you go get a license. So if you're a brand new driver, you're going to get your license or if you're going to be renewing, a common thing that happens is people get to the DMV and say, oh, I haven't discussed this with my family. Let me go back. Well, they never come back to the DMV to do it. So we strongly encourage everybody to go out and have this discussion prior to going to the DMV to get it. Or if you do it afterwards, you can actually go out to life-source.com and on there they have links to the multiple states DMVs where you can actually sign up after the fact. You have the flag here, that the flag raising from Sanford Health. How did that was a process that no parent is ever prepared for? But it sounds like they really took care of you in that. Right, Life Source and Dakota Alliance uh, Sight and Health have become our new families. They not only follow you from the very start of the process at the hospital, but they follow through um, after Cameron's donation. They have annual events where the donors and recipients are able to get together and share stories. Uh, for us, there was life at the end of the rainbow. When Cameron came in, I thought it was a broken leg. I quickly was informed that he had a traumatic brain injury in which his life was going to end. I remember telling the trauma surgeon save the organs because I knew Cameron was a donor. I work at the hospital. I did not realize the process it takes for them to find the recipients as well as prepare Cameron for the organ transplant and retrieval of the organs. So there is a whole process. Uh, it takes about 36 to 48 hours to find the recipients. and. In that time, we were able to say goodbye to Cameron, and it was a healing time for us. But because of Cameron's driver's license not saying donor on it, we as a family had to have that painstaking conversation. Is this what Cameron wanted? But we knew it. And as I talked with Cameron's dad, I said, what if Cameron needed just a liver or just a heart from this accident? And we never got the call, and he died. And at that moment, this rainbow came out. And this is our promise and our hope that Cameron's smile, Cameron's heart is going to live on. He has a 30-year-old in Iowa who has reached out to us and he has Cameron's heart. He loves the outdoors and he loves socializing. And little does he know, Cameron did too. Uh, 
we have a 43 year old in Illinois who has his liver and she's a mother of five and she said you will never know what this means to me I plan to pay it forward we have a 57 year old in Iowa who has his kidney she wrote in the letter to us that she had a better chance of winning the lottery nobody was a donor match when she got the call from Sanford or from Life Source, she thought she was dreaming she thought this can't be I know that I did not have a chance of even finding a liver and it was a perfect match it's incredible so many stories thank you so much for sharing this and I also want you to talk a little bit about the celebration of life Cameron's 23rd birthday is coming up and on that day what what do you hope that people what message do you want people to hear well we uh, we want to promote his life uh, and what he brought to uh, the community in the short 22 years but as well we want to also again promote organ donation and the, the importance of it I'm so sorry for your loss but I think this is a really incredible thing you're doing now thank you and thank you to Cameron for what yeah. he has done thank, thank you, you guys thanks we'll be right back <laughs>